the morning I have to start with a cup of tea in bed. It gets me going for the day and gives me time to gather my thoughts before getting up and getting ready. So then I head straight to the bathroom where I have a shower and start my cleansing routine. So I use the Spa Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser which is a three in one cleanser. It's got a small exfoliant tin but not too harsh on the skin but also it smells so nice. And if you haven't used Spa products before they really do smell of a spa. So once I've cleansed I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream and at the moment I'm using one with an SPF in it just to protect me from the sun a little bit before I put on my makeup. So after preparing my skin it's on to the makeup and I am loving Stila products at the moment. I use their Lingerie Souffle underneath the skin before putting on their stay all day foundation. I'm also using the Trini London BFF cream underneath all that and again it's got a tiny SPF on so it helps protect my skin in the summer weather. I'm also a big fan of Bobbi Brown and have been using their mascara and blusher bronzer combination for a while now. I love their bronzer, it's so good. So before getting dressed I complete the ritual of putting my jewellery on and that begins with my Vincero watch. So what's what's lovely about Vincero is that they don't mass produce the same minimalist style watches we see over and over again. They actually outsource their own products and the team is involved with every step of the journey. Vincero have very kindly sponsored this part of the video but you'll notice I have been wearing their watch on repeat. If you head over to my Instagram at Lydia Jane Tomlinson you'll also see how I've styled it there. So this is the Clio Mesh watch and what you'll notice is that it's got such a bold luxury look to it but at a really good price point so you get quality without breaking the bank so I wear my Vincero watch by layering it with other gold pieces. I am a gold jewellery gal, so this watch is perfect for me. I usually wear quite delicate rings that I stack up. Maybe I'll put a bracelet with it and I also wear gold earrings as well to tie it all together. Okay, so now onto the wardrobe section. So I am quite a minimalist and neutrals person when it comes to dressing. I'm actually going to an event today, so I want to pick something that looks smart and quite dressed up but you know not too over the top. So I usually start with a piece that I want to focus my outfit on that day and today I've chosen this mango blazer. This is a bit of a fail safe to be honest. It's such a good piece, it always looks classic, it always looks really smart and you can wear it with a lot of different things as well. So just having a little rummage through my wardrobe I've decided to wear it with this H&M new knit. It's a lighter colour knit so it kind of makes the jacket look quite summery. It's not the warmest of days but I still want to look summery so that's why neutrals is so great. It still looks season appropriate but at the same time I can put the blazer on as an extra layer and it's still quite warm and comfortable. And then finally I've popped on my under the story fail safe jeans which I do wear to death I've got to admit but there is a reason for that and they just go with everything and they kind of dress down a smart blazer look as well and make it a bit more daytime and wearable. So next is the shoes. I kind of want a bit of a heel but nothing too major. Probably not loafers because I think they're a bit flat for an event so definitely a little heel and I've gone for these old Zara fail safes which just work so well for daytime and look smart but not too over the top. And then lastly my Louis bag to complete the look. I feel the bag kind of elevates the whole look completely and accessories for me very much like the watch tie everything together and just finish the look. So I'm all ready for my event and time to face the day. Thank you for watching.